Hi, I'm James the Light Guy, and today I have a PSA during this pandemic. In my hands is an ultraviolet UVC sterilizing machine. What's supposed to happen is you put in a power source, open it up, put your cell phone, keys, whatever you have in here, activate it, and it runs through until it has sterilized your objects, you know? Remove all of the viruses and bacteria from the surface. However, a lot of these are completely bogus. The one in my hands is also fake. We're gonna take this apart real quick and see what makes it fake. First, let's look at what we have for controls. We have uh, the initializing of the coding as well as increasing the intensity of the sterilization. We have a micro USB and a USB type A port on the front. We have what appears to be a speaker grill on the bottom and some technical specifications. And on the inside, we have what appear to be some sort of UVC producing tubes, but these are not quartz glass. They are a cheap, clear plastic, as well as some indicating LEDs on the side. And I don't know what this is, what it's supposed to be, but we'll get into that in a minute. Behind these felt feet are four screws. Let me take that off for you. I've zoomed down in on this. We can see that once I've removed the screws, we do have a speaker mounted to the back with a little bit of vibration isolating foam. And this is where the magic happens. So we have a pretty interesting circuit board, has a couple of controllers for the timer and the LED brightness, as well as the power in controller and drop down a number of resistors. There's also this large resistor soldered and just taped onto the bottom here. This is a 330 ohm resistor, uh, two orange, black, and a gold. We have those indicating LEDs on long leads just bent into the housing. These LEDs do not produce UVC radiation or light. Those chips need to be encased in a special housing, otherwise they would damage themselves by the light that they emit. Using that as a reference that it requires special LEDs to produce that wavelength, you can see here that the LEDs hot glued in place under these tubes are the same design. They are not the special UVC producing chips and the wires are just left loose in there. I'm going to bend them away from each other so that they don't accidentally contact and ruin this thing. Well, not that it matters if this thing was ruined, it's already trash to begin with. We can see that the plastic tube is just glued in place on both ends with some hot glue. And there's that, uh, that grill from the front, and all it does is go into a piece of foam with nothing on the back there. Hmm, pretty strange. But in any case, what I wanna do is warn you guys and everyone out there not to freak out during the pandemic Yes, it's important that we work together, st staying safe, protecting ourselves and our communities from spreading the disease, washing your hands, 
disinfecting things. Just don't get scammed by these products. Check, find reliable sources that you can verify the functionality of them. Don't just buy things because of the hype. Don't panic buy. Please be safe. And that's all I have for today's video. If you found it useful or enjoyed it in any way, just give me that thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already and share with your friends. Until next time, I'm James the Light Guy.